Ah, okay, cool. Uh, so I will have a small session now about uh, uh, basically using variables in your code. Uh, so feel free everybody to tune in or ignore. I'm also recording this, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, so about variables. Uh, when coding uh, your program, uh, there is one really convenience that you can use, and that is variables. Um, here I have an example program which I uh, wrote. <laughs> it's a little bit silly perhaps, but it, I, would th I think it serves as a good example. In, in this case, I have a, a program which will run some kind of special sequence, turning on and off uh, LED uh, on pin number six, six and uh, basically turns on and off with different intervals to make this kind of uh, pattern, which you can see here. So it's making some kind of almost like Morse code uh, signal. And uh, let's say, assume that I realized uh, halfway through here, oh shit, I want to actually move uh, the LED to not use pin number six because perhaps uh, the pin number six was supposed to be used to something else or forever, whatever reason. So maybe then I want to move it to pin number three. Uh, of course, the uh, LED will stop blinking and it will not work anymore. Uh, what I would have to do in my code base now here is to go to all these places and replace this number six with number three. And that is, of course, a pain in the ass. So. Uh, in this case, it would be very useful for me to assign uh, the pin number to a variable, which I can change easily and then make it uh, propagate throughout my code. So in this case, I want a, a variable, which is an integer, basically a whole number. So I will write int and I will say uh, led pin. And I will say, oh, it's on number three. Uh, and then I can replace all these places here uh, now, of course, I had to do this one time, but after I have made this, I will be able to change which pin is used for the LED uh, in one single spot, which is at the top of my code. So this is an example of uh, how it can be useful for you to uh, make use of variables in your code. So let's see if this works. I will upload uh, the code to the Arduino and uh, it seems to be done. And we can now see that it actually blinks. Uh, so by doing this thing in software, basically making it easier for yourself, you can um, be more effective and you can get away with uh, kind of more simple solutions. So now I moved once again the cable to pin number 12 and in my code then I would not need to go through it and change all these places here I could just go up here and say okay pin number 12 um, and then when I upload my code you should see that uh, it's uh, blinking again from pin number 12 so this is just an example of using variables variables can be used in so many ways uh, one classic example is to have, for example, a counter. Because you can not only just set the variable and start like I do here uh, in, in my code, um, you can also actually work and change the val values of your variables throughout, uh, the inter throughout the execution of your program. So let's pretend we have a counter. <coughs> and it will have a start value of zero. And maybe, for some reason, I want to know how many times at he, he, the, the program has gone through this cycle. So in this last uh, row of my loop, of my main loop, I will uh, take the counter and make it equal to counter plus one. So basically, I take the old value here and I add one to it and then I save it back into the same spot. Uh, of course, there is a much easier way to do this. Uh, 
which is this. So this is the same thing. Uh, it's equivalent to doing that. And maybe I also want to print out this to the console or to the serial monitor. So in that case, I will write serial print line and I will actually just write the counter. And I will upload this to, uh, I should also probably put in this serial start to enable our serial begin 9600. <clears throat> on the, I think in the new version of the Arduino ID you don't have to do this, but it's good measure to basically activate the serial port. This 9600 stands for board rate, basically characters per second, or the speed of uh, uh, the bandwidth or the communication. So th this is a uh, common setting. There are other uh, common values as well. Uh, so now I have a counter which uh, adds uh, with one for each iteration of the main loop and then it also should print that value to the serial monitor. Let's try to upload this to the Arduino. <coughs> And as you see now, uh, the uh, LED is blinking, but also if you see the serial monitor, you can find the serial monitor by clicking this button here, up in the right corner of the Arduino EDE. And when I click that button, it will basically uh, show this window here, which has the communi serial communication with Arduino. So this window here will, will receive the incoming serial messages from the Arduino. So we can now follow and see that uh, the main loop has been triggered, yeah, 16 times. Uh, so uh, that was a short mini session about variables and an example of how to use them. Uh, I think that should be enough for now. Cool.